I showed you the hardware of System76's Gazelle Professional laptop, and I also showed you how to set it up. In this video, I want to show you the cool interface and also some of the software that's available and how I am going to put it all together <laughs> on my laptop. I won't go in depth on the software now, but I will be posting some more videos on some of the software that I will be using for photography. Here is the Gazelle Professionals desktop. Let's go through the launcher first, which runs along the left side of the screen and allows you to get to many of your commonly used items. First is Dash Home. Here you can get to some of your recently used apps and recently opened files, plus all your applications, your documents, your music, and your pictures and, and videos. Next is the Home folder. You can access some of the same things as in the Dash Home, but you can get to more things like templates. Next is Firefox Web Browser, and then your LibreOffice applications, which are Writer, Calc, and Impress. Then is the Ubuntu Software Center. This is where you can get apps that don't come pre-installed on the laptop. Then this is Ubuntu One, which is cloud storage. Now for system settings and for record my desktop, which doesn't actually come preloaded, I added that because I needed to make these videos. Next is the workplace switcher, and that's pretty much what it sounds like. It allows you to have multiple workspaces going and you can switch between them. And then trash is at the bottom. Now going up top. The red square is for record my desktop. The envelope icon is for email. And then there's battery power indicator. And then the Wi-Fi indicator and a sound indicator. You can change the volume here. Then there's the time and my username. Then this little icon, which allows you to get to a bunch of things like system settings and you log out or shut down here. Now that I know where everything is, I want to add a few things. Let's go to the Ubuntu Software Center. I know what I want, so I'm gonna search for it. First, I'm looking for GIMP, which is for photo editing. All right, found it. Let's click on it and click install. I have to enter my password to install the software. Okay, and here it goes. Now it's right on the launcher to the left. We already can see it. I like how the remove button comes up. It makes it easy for me to take this app off of the computer if I decide that I don't want it anymore. And let's speed through the others. I also want OpenShot for video editing and Darktable for raw file photo editing. I've got everything I need, but it is not where I want it. I want to rearrange the launcher. I need to add some things so it's easy for me to get to the apps that I use the most. I am going to go to Dash Home and to Applications so I can find the apps I want to add to Launcher. First, I want to add email. I'm adding Thunderbird Mail. I need my email close because I use it a lot. So I'm going to click it and drag it over to the Launcher by Firefox. Back to Dash Home and Applications. I want to move my photo and video tools over to the Launcher. First is Cheese Webcam Booth. This allows me to make videos with the webcam, and I'll put that down here in the photo slash video section. I don't really use spreadsheets or make presentations all that often, so I am going to remove those from the launcher by right-clicking and going to unlock from launcher on both of them. Now I'll just have to go to Dash Home up top to get to them. I'm not gonna use Ubuntu One, so I'm gonna unlock that as well. Now to rearrange a bit. I'm gonna move the software center and system settings down to the bottom. That'll be my little utilities area. And now I think I'm happy. The last thing I need to do is set up my email in Thunderbird. Opening Thunderbird, I am asked if I want to set up a new email address. I do, but I wanna use my existing email address. So I need to enter some information. It looks up the email address and found it. I want to keep the IMAP option, so whatever I do on my computer here changes the actual email account. Okay, create account. I do want to set this as my default email account. And voila, it's all right here. That's all folks. Now I am ready to do some work and probably have some fun too. <laughs> I really like so far how easy it is to use. I like the launcher so that you know everything I need is, is right at my fingertips. And I like the software center because everything is right there that I could want. And I'm able to install stuff and remove stuff really easily. So, so far so good. 
keep your eyes peeled for the photography related videos that I'm going to make with this for Shotwell, GIMP, and Darktable.